Hey guys, I'm Liz and I film videos kind of on random projects and skills I'm working on. Um, it kind of keeps me accountable and I like to hear what you guys are working on in your uh, professional lives as well. So today we're going to be talking about um, the new class I've started to take, which I have been avoiding for quite a while. It's called um, the Complete Python Masterclass. So I'm kind of going to go into Notion here and show you what I have um, on it. So. A little background on computer science in my world is I ended up getting a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, minored in math, and then I really was interested in computer science, but I didn't think I was like smart enough. I, wor I was worried people coded more than I have in my entire life, so I never really got into it. And then I took like a MATLAB class in college, um, really liked it there, then took um, kind of found VBA outside after I graduated and started working in the field. Loved VBA, and so I had a little bit of programming before that, so it helped with that. And then I took a She Codes class, which I have a, I'll link it in the description below. I have a review on that, which that one made me really excited. Um, and then now I'm like, I've heard Python. I feel like everybody talks about Python. Python is everything, you know? Apparently it was built by somebody who worked at Google. Um, so I started, I signed up for this class and I think it's a pretty popular one on Udemy because one of my friends is taking it as well, who I work with. So <clears throat> how I'm tracking it in Notion is I have a course catalog, right? So here's my courses here. So I could go to my Python class <clears throat> and I have Learn Python Program Masterclass. It's the name of the class. Status is 25%. It's, I'm not actually at 25%. I think I'm at like 5%. <laughs> Um, topic computer science. So I'll show you the topics I have. So I have creativity, advertising, writing, computer science, graphic design, Excel, business, um, instrument and controls, sales, structural, drawings, sex. <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I just like to take classes in all areas. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing really super um, relevant. They're all kind of over the place. I have the teacher, um, the image, I'll have the finish date cost. So this was, I got this on sale on Udemy. So always wait to go on sale to buy anything on Udemy. Locations, so I have different ones. So I have Masterclass, Udemy, Thermo Systems, my um, company, Jadun, Emmy University, Skillshare, She Codes. So I have, I have like every subscription you can think of because I just love learning and I can't help myself. Like it's so, it's too addicting. Um, I have, I did do a quick summation of the amount of time this class is. So this is a really long class. I did not realize this. This is definitely a feat for sure. Like 62 hours, that's a long time. Um, so this is how I've been taking notes in Notion. And so I have it as its own little page. And then I have like some heading and like what you need to download. What is Python? Um, a little bit about like software development kit, all that. This is kind of jargon to me, like object oriented, like I don't know what any of that means until we get into the details. You are able to embed code into, into Notion. So you do a backslash code and then you can pick your coding language. So if you go here, you can see this as Python, but there's a drop down menu. So you can select any, any programming language that you use. Um, and then I've just been taking notes as I, as I take the class. So this is kind of how I incorporate Notion. So you can kind of see if I go to like my She Codes class, very similar structure, right? Um, I have all the code, text styling, all that. So this has really worked out for me because I can go and search my code or I can search different ideas and think projects that I worked on throughout the class. So let me show you what it looks like on actual Udemy here. So this is kind of the structure. Um, there's a course introduction, install setup, and then I'm right here stepping into the world of Python. So I've only taken like, I mean, we're talking like 15 minutes so far. We have written our first line of code, which I will show you. Um, and this has actually been going pretty well. There's like coding exercises, which I think is really cool. You actually can code inside here and then you check your solution. And if it's correct, it'll tell you. So if I check my solution, it says checking. And then it says, well done, your solution is correct. And I'm like, oh, like this is definitely a lot better. I did not have this level of like practicing code and checking it on other Udemy classes. So I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Um, and so let me just kind of scroll through what you're gonna be learning in this class. So we have program flow control in Python. I have no idea what that means. Lists and tuples. I 
You know, this is, I'm, I get a little scared when I start hearing vocab words, I don't know what they mean. <laughs> functions, I'm like, okay, we can get down with some functions. Um, Python dictionaries and sets, inputs and outputs in Python, modules, object-oriented, databases, I'm like, I'm excited. Databases, okay, love data. Um, generators, Lambda expressions, now that sounds kind of scary. I did take some, there was some Lambda stuff back when I took math classes in college. Um, then there's archived Python setup for Windows. And so there's kind of some other stuff here, extra information. Um, but I'm pretty excited about this course. I had it on my habit tracker, which I ha I'll have a link below on what my habit tracker was for the month. And I did not do well. I'm not gonna lie. I put this off and then I was like, oh, well, I didn't start that week, so maybe I'll start next week, and oh, I might as well just not do it this month. So, ah, oh, trial by fa failure. I just, I sat down this Friday night, and I was like, I'm doing it. We're going to face the fear of coding in the big boy leagues, and we're going to do it. So that is what I've been doing. I would take this on She Codes, but She Codes doesn't have a Python class. So I'm like, I was super bummed about that. Um, but I'm sure they'll develop it because all I see is requests for Python on their little course. Um, so this is kind of the gist of it. And then you have to download this thing called IntelliJ, which is a code editor. So I used VS Code as the code editor for like HTML, JavaScript, um, and that, that, and CSS, which is a different language is for like internet coding. And that was VS Code, which I'll link below. And then this is IntelliJ, which I'll link. And then you have to do kind of some setup. So I'm thinking I'll film a video of just the setup of downloading IntelliJ and like what what things to select and not to select. And and apparently you have to make your own like environment um, or virtual environment. This is a little more complicated than I thought it was gonna be, but he walks you through every step of it. Um, and that's the class on Udemy, which I'll link below as well. And so here was my first code because apparently when you start a a uh, coding language for the first time. You're supposed to start with hello world. Um, I didn't know that was a rule, but apparently people are really strict on that rule. So <laughs> that's what I did. And then you can run it and then it shows hello world. And then it shows, you know, one plus two and seven times six. Um, and then, you know, the string here. Uh, but it's pretty exciting. Um, I love learning different coding languages. It's like, the, the only the syntax really changes and I think there's some more going to be some deeper concepts in this one that we that we probably didn't touch on in she codes and when I went and learned VBA which I have a video for as well um, but I kind of like reviewing these courses for you guys and see how I do it because honestly I am I I feel like I'm a fast learner but also I really struggle so I'm like if I can get through this class then you guys can get through it too and so I hope you guys enjoyed um, kind of the setup of how I'm taking Python, how I'm doing notes. Um, I'm going to do some check-ins, mainly to keep myself accountable because I feel like I'm going to fall off. How I'm planning on doing it right now is I'm thinking I'm going to do one of these little classes a day. So like within here, I do like seven minutes a day and then eight minutes the next day and then track it on my habit tracker for the month, which is what I was originally planning on doing, but I fell off because I missed the first day. So March will be my month, uh, but I also have a lot going on. So I think that's good, like eight minutes a day, four minutes a day. That's how I did the VBA course in Udemy. It took a very long time, but it got done. So, and it was nice because it was like, I was constantly touching it. It wasn't like I was doing five hours on the weekend and then not touching it all week. So I feel like that, that is a strategy may not be a great one, but it will, it works for me. Um, anyway, so let me guy uh, or let me know what you guys are learning and if you're learning Python and if you took a really awesome course somewhere else, let me know because we're going to be struggling through this one for a while. <laughs> but anyway, um, comment below and I'll see you guys next time.